Identity 5 Gamers, today we are going to watch some more Koa matches, specifically from Southeast Asia. We are watching Southeast Asia Day 2, the second and third sets, which uh, this third set is actually the uh, the last set of uh, Southeast Asia, so we'll be done with Southeast Asia after this video. Pretty curious to see how it's going to end. Can my plant get any bigger? Come on, plant, I believe in you. Funny, you are almost a seedling. I believe in you, bro. I believe in you, funny. But yeah, when it comes to uh, the Koa Southeast Asia, we know that Team GH has already qualified. Um, or not qualified, but they're going to be in the third set. But we have to watch the second set to see who will be going up against GH for set three. Uh, pretty curious to see who is going to take the spot. Nothing from the essence, which is fine. Let's get into the matches. Okay, here we go. It is UTP versus RS. This is round one, first half. We've got Gardner, Mike Gaming, Mercenary, and Norton? It's a little weird that we have Norton. I believe I'm actually recording this on his birthday. Um, but So that's pretty cool. Happy birthday, Norton. I don't know if this will be coming out on his birthday. Oh my gosh, we are seeing another round one Galatea. No way, dude. I think we saw this earlier. I forget if it was in uh, in the Southeast Asia division or not, but Sculptor round one, huh? Banning Priestess, Anti, Toy Merchant, Charles. I mean, that's usually their standard bans, but no Opera round one, okay. So it looks like spawns are pretty standard. Sculptor spawning in hospital. It's weird that we're seeing Sculptor in round one sometimes. And we also see Norton is here potentially for the Sculptor pick, potentially. I don't know if Norton does particularly well against Sculptor, but I know he's not picked versus Opera Singer, so maybe they were expecting some sort of a unorthodox pick being the Sculptor here. I'm not really sure. We'll have to see how this matchup goes. Looks like we got Domaki Mercenary, Kokichi, Oma, Acrobat. I'm not really sure about the other two skins, but I love seeing the uh, the crossover skins coming out here. Now let's see, what will Sculptor chase first? The Mercenary? I think that's Mercenary. Um, yeah, that is the Mercenary. You definitely don't want to chase the Mercenary first, I feel like. Uh, yeah, she said that's the Mercenary. Is she going to actually give chase? Let's see, oh, she does drop uh, some, uh, some statues. Oh, but there's the, uh, the, oh, well, Prospector already takes a hit. Yep, there, now, now you can switch targets. Now you can switch targets to the Prospector. Oh, did she get blocked by her own statue? What just happened there? Uh, Acrobat is nearby. Be careful, buddy. Uh, we see a magnet and, oh, a repel. I was expecting a track there. Okay. I mean, it wouldn't have been very long. There's a hit. Okay, well, he now goes down to a statue hit. Uh, you, if, if, if. If you can go down, though, what you want to go down to is a basic hit, though. Uh, Blink is here. Sculptor's probably not going to want to down with her. What? Wait, did she she lost track of him. She actually lost track of him. Okay, now he can, like, go up into the two-story areas, and he's not doing that. Um, she does pick up on the trail. Oh, nope, now she has an idea where she is. Yep, he's, she's already throwing statues. Um, does not have uh, presence yet, so she can't use the chis or anything. And uh, yeah, that that actually like bought some time for the uh, the prospect. You're gonna be able to use a magnet here and repels again. Dang, I thought he would have uh, attracted there once again. Okay, do we see blink drop down potentially? Is there we go? Blink here, blink here, blink. Uh oh no, just goes down to a statue, huh? Wait, so you're telling me he had flywheel and full kite build and just died there? Really? Huh? Well, now she can start pressing down the ciphers with the chisel. Yep. Wait, what? How'd the bubble get pop? Oh, she didn't even get the bubble out, did she? Oh, so she just takes a chip hit there. A bit unfortunate. Uh, we do see that Garner has no borrowed time, uh, similarly to the uh, processor. Processor just takes the hit there, okay. Yeah, um, Garner probably will come in for this rescue, but she does have a chip, so it's a little dangerous. She can set a bubble, but like already having a chip and rescuing a sculptor is really dangerous, because if you take one more statue hit, you just pretty much die to the basic hit. Um, I really don't rescue. I don't really like rescuing against the uh, sculptor, dude. I'm really bad at it. And yep, down he goes after Ty Turner. Uh, do they actually make the Gardner rescue? Or are they just gonna have like Mercenary Acrobat do it? Acrobat could get another bomb by rescuing, but I don't know. The tide will be nice, but I'm a little worried about Gardner, especially since he has Wanted Order as well. Gonna try and ship down the Acrobat here a little bit, maybe. Oh, bro, pay attention, buddy. Yo, pay attention. What the heck? Even I wouldn't have been on that. I know it's like you're trying to push the side as much as possible, but my goodness. Don't don't take any chip hits there. And yeah, it looks like they are sending the mercenary in to, to uh, get the rescue. Now, as long as he uh, doesn't take a chip, he uh, can get the rescue even if he gets terror shocked. Oh, hold on now. Okay, no terror shock. No, oh, wait. Yo, oh. Wait, what just happened? Uh-huh. So why did he like just not go for the rescue there? 
Why did he just like delay it for so long? I was so confused. Okay. He didn't get the Vladi block or anything, dude. That was uh, not the greatest rescue. Garner has to avoid these combined statues. She's in the she's in a kind of an open area, so it's not too difficult. Um, Mercenary is probably going to be the next target. She doesn't actually have the opportunity to use her uh, her blink at all. And yeah, the last effort is being worked on. Does she just teleport? She is going to opt to teleport. Yep. Garner already has a chip, so she shouldn't be too hard to take down. There's combined statue and down she goes. Dang, just like that. Just like that. My goodness. Okay. Well. Um. Yeah. Now that now I feel like they just duo decode a bit. No, they're gonna heal up. Okay, uh, but she has Chisel. She can force you off healing. Yeah, and now Mercenary. <laughs> oh my gosh, they both took a hit from that. Didn't you? Don't you think it would have been better to like maybe not heal out in the open? Wait, is this 4K? Yeah, this is this is a 4K at this point. What the heck? Um, this is actually just 4K. She can try and use the chisel, gets hit by a combined statue, and... Oh, she has no more statues that she can combine. Here we go. Oh, never. No, no, that's the down. That's it. Oh my gosh, that's the game. That's actually the game. Mercenary can't self-heal in time. He was at 73. I'm pretty sure. No, he does. What? No shot he self-healed in time. It's Mercenary. Really? Really? Okay, is she gonna... Okay, Akamad's a... She de yeah, okay. Akamad definitely doesn't self-heal in time. Definitely doesn't. Oh, she's gonna try and... Hmm... <laughs> that chisel's so jank, dude. Yep, she's just she's just kind of stalking where Acrobat is. Well, Garner is dead. Garner is dead. Okay. Yeah, he's he's hiding up here. You, you just gotta... Acrobat will be able to self-heal, but the thing is, once you get Mercenary down, you go back for Acrobat, and that's just it. Yep, that is just gonna be it. Mercenary has one elbow pad to kite out, like, the entire thing, dude. And she can just teleport onto the Cypher. There's one chip hit from the statues. And let's see, any more statue? One, there's the last elbow pad. Last elbow pad has been used. And does he get on the cypher? He does get on the cypher. I feel like it's best to kill the mercenary first though. Combined statue, he dodges it, he dodges it. Cypher is climb, hold on, wait. There is a chance, it's not a good, it's not a high chance, but it, there is a chance. Oh, uh, mercenary. She's teleporting, she's teleporting, she's teleporting. Okay, Mike can, he, he takes a hit, he takes a hit. Yeah, honestly, this this is the better chase target though. This is the better chase target. Cause thing is now now nobody's on the cipher. He does use the bombs and he does have better kiting potential. But you will kill him eventually, right? You will kill him eventually. No statues right now. Um. Okay, no statue. Oh my, the knee jerk, the knee jerk is saving this acrobat right now. Oh my gosh. And now Mercenary is setting up a new cipher, but it's only at thirty. There's no way he kites this out. There's just no way. What what are you doing? She just hit like a pallet for no reason. That was kind of jank. Okay. No statues, no stat. What is she? Is she like threatening? What are you doing? I don't know if she's like, what? I don't know why she's like swinging randomly. I don't know what that is. Um. Okay, Cypher is at 60. She's chiseling, she's chiseling. Uh. I feel like you need to, I feel like you need to save your statues for the down. Maybe she's feeling a little, uh. Oh my gosh, there's no way, right? There's just no, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Mike! Oh, he's gonna make it, I think he's gonna make it. She has no statues. Uh, he baits a statue, oh my gosh, I think they make it. I'm pretty sure they make it. No way, dude. There's no way. Dude, I can't believe it. He actually kites it out and they both have BT. They both have BT, okay. Focus on, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, focus on the corner. there it is, there's the pop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. What? I can't believe it, dude. I can't believe they kited this out. None of them have self heals, though. Acrobat still has to keep kiting. No bombs left. And Vault's in there. That's so dangerous. Well, now, okay, now she, just tele now she just teleports. That's it. That's it. That's it. Bro, he needed to kite just a little bit longer. Oh, I can't believe it. Okay, Mercenary, come on, bro. Come on. I mean, he doesn't really have much to work with. Yeah, he's, he's dead. He's dead. Dang, dude. That was so close. They almost made a comeback. That acrobat, bro. That acrobat. That was a good first match. Okay, so apparently there's actually some bad news uh, regarding Team RS, and that is that the survivors were unable to play. I'm not really sure why, 
Um, but it looks like only the hunter will actually be playing, meaning that this, uh, basically, this goes to TMUTP. I am gonna finish the set as sad as it is, even though, like, Team RS sends no chance because they're basically forfeiting their survivor side in matches. Okay, we are going on to round two. Not really a first half or a second half since we are not going to see the, uh, RS survivors play at all this set, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, I believe it's only going to be this, uh, Muhio person playing, which is... It's honestly really sad um, that they're the only person playing for their team, uh, but it was appa apparently it was due to emergencies uh, why the survivors couldn't play. So re really sad to hear about for Team RS. Um, but you know th things happen in life. Regardless, we're, we're still gonna watch the matches play out, and then hopefully the next set can uh, you know be a bit more of a fair game. Anyway, we are going to see the sculptor once again coming out on the Arms Factory. They might as well just throw off their sculptor at this point because there's no reason to pick anybody else. They don't have anything. They're like they're just losing, right? They're they're losing. There's no point in even like banning anything. The sculptor, it's it's just these are basically played for fun at this point. But we're gonna watch it. We're gonna we're gonna treat it like a competitive match. Let's just see how it goes. Merc, Batter, Painter, uh, Psych versus the sculptor. Now last time it was a 4K, which if RS survivors were playing, that means uh, RS would have a a pretty good uh, potential lead if they got some escapes against uh, whoever uh, the UTP hunter would have been. Um, but yeah, I'm curious to see how this is gonna go. Okay, here we go. We've got Domaki once again. We love to see it, and I think that's the uh, Bungo Stray Dogs crossover painter skin. Spots out the psychologist very early on. That's probably who you want to. Uh, that is probably who you want to uh, have the uh, have take the chase um, as the sculptor. But they probably don't want Psych to take the chase uh, from the survivor side. You probably want it on Batter or Painter since they both actually have full kite build. That, there's the pallets on my goodness yeah both flywit and knee jerk on batter and painter psychologist has borrowed time and knee jerk so can kite if needed and then of course mercenary with borrowed time tied uh, again um uh, it really doesn't matter what the results of this match are since utp will be going on uh to the third set but i still want to see how these matches go out they are co-op matches after all um the unfortunate circumstances are indeed unfortunate but i still just want to see how it goes you know yeah, I still want to see how it goes. I was I was very confused when I first saw it because I was just like, where is round one for a second half? Where's where's round two second half? They just don't exist. They just don't exist. Anyways, Psych is actually doing a great kite here. Looping factory very, very well. Hasn't even taken a single statue. Oh, well, of course, as I say that. And of course, as I say that even more. My goodness, dude. I must admit, the, the mind games that it comes to when it uh, with, with Psychologist... Um, Oh, nice touch. Nice touch he does there. Well, I guess with Sculptor when it comes to a pallet, I hate um, going back to try and uh, pallet some Sculptor. Oh, dang, just goes for the blink. Okay. I hate going back to try and uh, hit Sculptor um, when she already gets a statue from the... Or a statue uh, at near a pallet. I feel like I always take the basic attack, dude. I, oh, I feel like I always take it. Um, but yeah, we are going to see Psych go down to a uh, statue hit potentially here. Let's see. And they're pausing. Dang, that's a lot of seconds, huh? Looks like we're back into it. Yeah, we're, we're back into it. Pause is over. Uh, and Psych does actually die, so maybe lost some of the momentum from the kite there. That's why I hate pauses, but it was actually UTP who paused, not um, not Team RS. Which I'm not really sure why they paused anyway, um, because again, the results of this match don't really matter, because UTP is guaranteed to win the set. They literally... They, they, UTP gets automatic uh, 4Ks since, they, since the survivors are basically forfeiting on the RS side. Um... Painter is not taking any chips, which I guess is good. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to take any chips. Uh, Mercenary is here, but the ciphers are pretty, like they're pretty decently far along. The psychologist had a really solid kite. Um, like honestly, did, didn't even take a hit for like a full minute or something. Does just basically get the mercenary, gets a chip hit, and yeah, she's just gonna get farmed off here. Char attack does not actually hit, dude. I swear the char attack from sculptor is so goofy because you just see like the little, the little tool just floating for like a solid one or two seconds. It's so goofy looking, dude. It is so good flicking. Anyway, she's probably gonna go onto a basic hit here. Let's see. Trying to use the statue to push her closer. It didn't actually, or it did actually work there. Goes down to the tide turner. Okay, so yeah, that, that's that's fine. That's fine. That's that's only the uh, the first down. We could potentially see one more rescue and then some batter harassment. Uh, but they have to finish up that one cipher at uh, at 82 percent right now. And they could probably send in. Oh, are they sending in painter? Oh, they're actually gonna have painter, huh? Well, she doesn't have any excitement, so... Yeah, this is actually looking pretty good for uh, the UTP serves here. They can definitely draw this, which, again, is completely fine. As long as... Oh, five was for no reason. There's no more... Oh, wait, no. Oh, here's one last set of uh, sculptures. And... Does not take the hits. Does not take the hits. Now you just need to knock out Terra Shocked. Yep, there it is. Boop. Wait for attack recovery, and then she's looking away because of the painting, maybe. 
Uh, uh, there's the painting, there's the painting. Okay, yeah, she, she has to, like, stay near this painting. She's trying to look away from the painting. Painter is here to body block. Does actually die. Do we see Batter? Batter isn't here. Where is Batter? Batter's on the cypher for some reason. Why isn't Batter the one harassing? And she actually goes after the Batter, which is probably fine. Uh, dang, even with that fast vaulting, he actually does take the chip. Uh, they're gonna open up a new cypher. Painter is, like, still down on the ground. But, yeah, Batter should be able to kite this out. It is full press Sculptor, but, um... I'm pretty sure she can kite, uh, he can kite this out because he has two bombs or uh, balls rather. Whoa, that was a good, that was a beautiful statue dodge, beautiful statue dodge using the balls, and he has fast vaulting, so like it's gonna be hard to uh, hard to deal with him, especially in this area. I feel like Batter's probably really broken in this area. Uh, only one ball left, but uh, let's see. He's trying to force a basic hit, and he does actually force the basic hit. Not any sculpture hits. That is good, but the cipher is moving kind of slow. Why is it moving so slow? Oh, now it's, now it's starting to move fast. Okay. Um, they're whistling? Why are they whistling? No, just just, tri just triple... There, they're cutting out. Now they're triple decoding. Okay, that was weird. Uh, that was kind of weird. That was kind of weird. Batter has flywheel. Does he use it here? Doesn't use the flywheel? Really? Huh. Okay, Psych is being... It, 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 yeah, Psych's on her way. Uh, she will chase Batter. This should just be a draw at best. On honestly, it could be a three escape as well. Um, so may maybe not the best second round with the uh, the sculptor here, but to be fair, it is freaking Arms Factory. Arms Factory is absolutely broken for survivors. Um, whenever whenever I get this map and rank as a hunter, I just know I'm gonna cry because I, I rarely ever get 4Ks on this map unless unless the survivors just mess up a lot. Like if if I get like really competent survivors that you know know what they're doing quite a bit, it, it can be really rough to uh, to get the 4K. But yeah, we do just see the basic hit. Can she actually get it? She's gonna try and maybe spam some statues there. Um, and gets the rescue, down she goes to it. Oh, but immediate farms a psych, yup. Maybe should have waited a bit on the uh, on the pop there. Maybe should have waited just a bit. Um, Cause the thing is you could have had Batter coming to rescue. Uh, oh no, 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 psych is down on chair, never mind. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's a bit unfortunate, yep. I kind of forgot that psych was dead on chair. There's the teleport and there is a painting. Okay, that's gonna buy them a little bit of distance, but that's the last painting from the painter. Uh, what happened to the other one? Did she even look at the other one? Do paintings go away after a while? Actually, I don't know that. Do paintings actually just go away after like a certain amount of time? I feel like they do, but I'm not actually sure. Uh, Batter actually dies to a statue hit. Oh my gosh. Actually dies to the statue hit. Um, Wait, is this a 3k? No way it's a 3k. Uh, Mercenary is the one that's up, not near the gate. No, he is actually near the gate. Um, Yeah, I mean, it should still be a draw. Painter should be able to get out. Yeah, he should be able to get out. Batter, it looked like Batter wasn't even struggling. Was that just me? I, I swear Batter was not even struggling. Um, let's see. What? Oh, yeah, the, the chisel was not at the uh, at the gate there. Why are you even healing? Why bother healing? Just leave. Just leave, Painter. Just leave. Just leave. Yeah, the dice, bro. Oh, did she get a four? Let's go. <laughs> if only got a 4K. Nice draw though, nice draw. Okay, onward to round three. Again, no first half or second half because the uh, UTP Hunter is not, sorry, the, the, the uh, RS stars are not playing. Uh, they actually did opt to ban the Sculptor, so we're going to see Geisha from Muhio this time. We also see Mercenary, Prospector, uh, Lucky Guy, and Patient coming out. I do love to see Lucky Guy. This this is a team that could potentially deal with uh, with Opera Singer, but it seems like Muhio is not playing Opera Singer. Maybe, I don't know if it's just because the Opera Singer is not very strong or because they just want to diversify and uh, play some more fun characters by just spamming Opera Singer or whatever because, again, um, I, I, think they, I think RS had to beat a team to get this far, which is unfortunate because like it almost feels like it was a it was a waste. Like even just getting into Ko was a waste, all for this uh, that one emergency that happened. So very unfortunate. Uh, but we are going to see some somewhat standard spawns. Patient spawning near four stop, not quite at it. And the thing here is, Patient is good on uh, Moonlit, but so is uh, so is Geisha. Geisha is very good, and Geisha is also specifically good against Patient as well. So I'm curious to see how this is going to go. Uh, I think as long as a uh, patient, you know, uses his hook sparingly and doesn't spam them, Geisha shouldn't be able to just catch up immediately. We'll have to see. Alrighty, here we go. Domeki Mercenary coming out again. Yo, people love the Domeki skin. I'm, I'm happy with that, dude. I, th I think Domeki is a really fun character from uh, Exorcist Holic. Uh, Lucky Guy. Whoa, jeez. What the? Wait, what the? It's only been 30 seconds and Lucky Guy has a bot and a flare gun. No way, bro. He is stocked up. Call him freaking coordinator and mechanic. What the heck? Uh, is he even gonna use the 
spot? He's actually opting to not even use the... Oh, you know what he might do? Uh, he might leave the bot at the Cypher after he gets it to a certain point. We do see that Patient is running. Knee Jerk Reflex Borrow Time. Hasn't taken a hit yet. Oh my gosh, Gacy's hitbox is so jank, bro. It's so jank. It literally just hits whenever it feels like. Sometimes it hits you from like the... the it hits you when it never should. And then sometimes when it should hit you, it never does. Like, Gacy's hitbox, bro, it's the most inconsistent thing ever, dude. It's really bad. And also, at weird times, it's very good. But most of the time, it's really bad because inconsistency is bad. Uh, we actually do see full kite build on both Lucky Guy and Prospector. My goodness. But this is this has been really good from... Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this has been really a really good kite from the patient. Getting a little more distance here. Um, she can go for the dash, but where exactly to? Okay, cannot vault there. Cannot vault there. Just going to run back around. Um... Wait, opting to teleport to the bot? Oh my gosh. Lucky guy dropped the bot and now has a football to work with. Oh my gosh. I actually had the bot try and finish the cypher for him, but my goodness, that was kind of a waste of a teleport because it was a bot. It was a bot, dude. Oh, now she's lost. That's so unfortunate. You had three ciphers to pick from and she chose the bot cypher, bro. She chose the bot cypher. And it looks like she is now going to opt chase the Prospector, who has full resources, dude. Three Magnets, full Kiting build resources all up. My goodness, dude. My goodness. That's really unfortunate. Trying to dash towards a little bit. Does she try to break it? Trying to break it. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, she actually broke the Magnet. She actually broke the Magnet when he was trying to go for an attract for some reason. I don't know why he was trying to go for an attract. Um, Kind of a waste of a Magnet. Actually, those those were like three really bad madness. I can't even lie. Those those madness were not very good. Oh my gosh, Geisha! Oh wait! Oh my gosh, Geisha, bro! Geisha! Oh, and gets canceled. Okay, okay, okay. Oh boy. Okay. It's pouting, pouting. My game finally takes a hit. My goodness, finally takes a hit. Um, but yeah, I don't. I think it's a little too little too late. Okay. Dash does get canceled because the butterfly is not in sight. Huh? Uh, red light tricking, red light tricking. Yep, yep. Okay. And dude, lucky guy, lucky guy has so many items. What the heck? Prospector does go down. Lucky guy has so many items. He has ball, flashlight, gun, and bot. The bot already died, but my goodness, lucky guy, bro. Lucky guy is so goofy. He has four items. I think he left the ball behind, but he literally has four items. Why is he just stocking up on items? He literally has four. He had, he had five items this entire game. Bro, Lucky Guy's actually playing Duel Hunters out here. What is this, dude? And it seems like he's not even double items tricking with the ball. It's just the, the gun and the flashlight. Maximum harassment. No perfume needed. My goodness. Oh, wait. He gave... Oh, I thought he was going to try and give the, give the item to somebody else. Um, yeah, so... This is looking really, uh, really good for the survivor. This is most likely a... Three person escape? The AI, the AI is saying a, a draw, but I guess I guess there is. Oh, uh, this Geisha only has detention. I'm just now realizing that she only has detention. Okay, it doesn't really really matter, but like, usually we see. Uh, oh, oh, okay, that was kind of. I mean, it, was, it is teleport Geisha, so and I guess she doesn't really need confined space, and that point doesn't really need insolence either. Um, yeah, that that is kind of odd. Only detention Geisha. I wonder what her other uh, traits are. Do we see Lucky Guy flashlight at all? Lucky Guy gun? Does he need any of his items? He's got plenty. Uh, oh, that was the perfume. The perfume is still there. Okay. And he's going to go for the flashlight. Dodges the hit with the with the flywheel. And then she just leaves. Oh my gosh, bro. Lucky Guy is actually playing Duel Hunters. He is actually playing Duel Hunters, bro. That's so funny. That is so goofy, bro. Oh, goes back for Lucky. And we see flashlight, bro. Yep. Yep. Bro thinks he's Creature Pearson. Oh my gosh. That's so goofy, bro. You just can't, you can't, you can't chase the Lucky, bro. He's too good. Lucky's too powerful. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love Lucky Guy, bro. Lucky Guy is so goofy. So goofy, bro. Look at that. They, they started every Cypher. Every Cypher has been worked on. My goodness. This is such a goofy match. I know, I know it really doesn't matter at the end of the day because UTP will take the set. But even then, dude, even then, Mercer's like, help me, bro, help me. Whoa, what the? What happened there? That was jank as heck. That was super jank. What the heck? Okay, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what was up with that. But, uh, is this? Yeah, this is the first chair since the Prostor. Oh, Prostor is here. 
Doesn't actually get the harassment. Hold on, let's see. He does still. He does have a bunch of magnets now. Okay, trying to just lead her very far away. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh, uh, it does not break the magnet, but she's going back for the Merc. And they can't pop it. They can't pop it. Norton's going to have to come back over here. Uh, does he make this stun in time? Oh, not quite, not quite. And boop. Buddy, buddy. <laughs> All right, now he's just going to pop. Yep, yeah, there's the pop. There's the pop. Okay, Mercenary, you basically just die in a corner now. Unless she teleports right here. Does she teleport? Um... Let's see. Oh, buddy. Whoa. Kind of risky. Oh, he elbow pads. He elbow pads. And they just teleport, but Lucky has a gun. Oh, it's patient. It is patient. And he actually is not going to take the coaster. Oh, he's heading to dungeon. He's heading to dungeon. He's heading to dungeon. Oh, boy. He's heading to dungeon. I was kind of hoping it would be Lucky Guy, because then we could see Flashlight and Gun and be funny. But, uh, yep. Canceling the dash. Oh, he's dead now. He's dead. Uh, yeah, but see, that's that's why I hate canceling Daisy Dash, because you're looking one way, right? You're looking one way, and then you have to look the other way, dude. You have to look the other way, and like, it messes up your controls. That's why I hate the Geisha Dash, like, making your camera turn around, because it really messes up your controls. It really does. I, w I wish you could, like, look back at her. Well, also, pff, Norton's being an average NAU Norton over there. <laughs> Lucky's got the gun and the ball. Is he going to opt to... He's using the ball. He leaves the gun behind. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, no no funny gun. He's not going to pull a duo hunters. Bro, they're gate waiting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Okay, Lucky. Okay, Lucky. Get out, bro. Get out. All right, that's a 1K for Team RS. And UTP is going to take it. Obviously, it's very unfortunate situations. I really didn't want to have to... Uh, you know, see a set like that, but it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. But now we're gonna go on to set three and see how GH fares up against UTP. On to GH versus UTP. It is uh, round one, first half. We are going to see Antiquarian Gardener, First Officer, and Seer Band. Pretty good bands, honestly, very solid bands. Uh, we are gonna see Creature Pearson the Thief coming out. I, um, I don't think I've seen Thief versus Opera. I mean, I think you can cancel her dashes, but like, this is kind of goofy, dude. I can't even lie. This could be really goofy. Uh, but yeah, we see Thief, Magician, Mercenary, and Aeroplanist. Every, every, the rest of the three is fine. The rest of the three we, we normally see, but Creature is just um, definitely weird here. I really want to know how this is going to go. Creature versus Opera. I can't I can't help but wonder if he's just gonna immediately die, but we'll have to see. Here we go. Domaki Merc out once again. It looks like Chinese New Year Thief is here as well. And she is gonna opt to chase the thief. Yep, it is gonna be the thief. The thief actually only has flywheel. Uh yep, there it is, bro. There's the flashlight. There's the flashlight. You can't dash. You can't dash. Oh boy. Yo, could you imagine a creature is secretly like S tier against her, dude? I mean, so far, so far, it's not terrible. I mean, he's going to set up the flashlight and, oh, not quite, because she has fast-breaking pallet speed. Yeah, he can't drop the flashlights. Maybe when she vaults, she can, he'll be able to do that. Um, yeah, just going to take a hit. Just going to, buddy. Oh, the excitement. No shot you brought excitement for a thief. There's no way you brought excitement for a thief. No, no, no. No, no, you're telling me the one time he uh, appears uh, in round one, you just bring excitement for him? Who brings excitement for a thief? Who does that? For a thief, bro, a thief. I can't believe that. That is like some hater energy, bro. I know creature sucks, but my goodness. All right, magician is on his way uses uh the decoy he does have knee jerk and tide so th this is one t uh, use of tide here now creature's just gonna get farmed off i kind of wanted to see thief cook and he just dies teaches her some respect but also uh dies in the process so uh yeah a bit unfortunate i mean this is good for the why 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 trying to prevent full presence it really doesn't matter you probably should have saved that for the next uh i don't know i, I feel like you should have uh, saved that for the next rebound i don't know dude Probably would have been best to save that for the next rebound. Uh, two cyphers are done from the aeroplanist, and the cyphers are actually pretty far behind, actually. All because of, <laughs> all because of excitement for thief, bro. Excitement for thief. 
That's so goofy, bro. That's actually so goofy. Mercenary isn't gonna rest you yet, just gonna be feeding tonight until probably the very end. Now just buying, bu buying some extra time. Actually, the other two are actually healing up. Yeah, they're healing up right now. Okay. Yep. There we go. And get the rescue. Now, can we, uh... Can we see some creature piercing gaming, bro? Not again! Oh my gosh, another excitement used for the thief. Bro, come on. I wanted to see him cook, bro! Excitementing thief! Oh. <laughs> oh, that actually buys some time. That actually buys some time, I can't even lie. That actually buys a little bit of time. Like, a couple seconds. Like, if he's gonna die, he's gonna go down with a fight, bro. Oh, that's so sad. That is so sad, bro. Excitement two times on Thief. Like, I, I've never seen anybody bring flashlight for a Thief. Like, I know Thief can, like, be really, really annoying. Especially at top level when, like, you have, like, really good positioning when people can walk backwards and not run into walls. Like, most of the creatures I run into are, they're typically flops, right? I can usually kill them. Then again, I'm also Nightwatch, so I usually just use Windwalk and I usually am fast on them, so I just get the hit on them before they can- <gasps> Why would you do that, Magician? I know you want to need your reflex, but that was so greedy. That was so greedy. That was... You can do that against anybody else, but against Opera, that's so greedy, Mage. You can't just do that. That was so greedy. Oh, boy. And that that's such a good palette, too. That's such a good palette. And now it's gone. Oh, boy. Yeah, this, this is... This is... This is not looking good. Mage could have cut it so much longer. He had two wands. Oh boy. They still do have Charles uh, tied and he is here. No Terror Shock, thank goodness. No Terror Shock. Now Mage is gonna fly over here. Um, high key, I don't think you use your wands here. Okay, maybe you do use your wands here. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess you'd have to get Mercenary off the, yeah, I don't know. The thing is, I didn't, I didn't think you'd use your wands here because it's tied, right? I feel like you'd rather yeah, cause he's gonna die anyway. So now you don't have a wand for endgame. I'm in the tide site as well. But if it was me, I would have, I would have like died to tide. Um, but they might have just had to sell him here. I don't know. They are gonna duo decode that cipher there. Huh. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I, I, I would have saved, I would have saved the, the decoy for the, uh, for the rebound here. Mercenary uses an elbow pad. Okay. Elbow pad gaming and takes the hit. Uh, she's probably gonna swap to teleport here once she sees a cipher being worked on potentially. Uh, he's not even gonna mercenary's not even in rescue. He's not even in rescue. He's actually not even in rescue. Why? Is he waiting? Oh, there's a teleport. Now he should. Now he should. Yep. Now he rescues. Now they just heal. They just heal. They just heal. Yeah. Heal. Heal up. Heal up. Mage. Heal up. Mage. Thing is, Charles still can kite. He can still kite. Two jetpacks and hover. Two jetpacks and hover. He can. He can. Uh. He can do it. He can't potentially do it. Let's see, hover. Yep, there's the hover. Near, near, near. Going, trying to push church. No, trying to push the, uh, trying to push shack potentially. Okay. Oh boy, aeroplane. This is so goofy, bro. Actually, so goofy. Can he get into church? I don't think he gets into church. He's just gonna get hit, and he dies. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, it should still be a 4K, because Opera is just so powerful. Even if they set up a new cipher, who can kite out? They have to kite out a whole cipher, dude. An entirely new cipher. Uh, yeah, Mage, Mage is gonna start up the the graveyard cipher, but that cipher is gonna take a long time, a very long time. It is accelerated decoding, but even then, um, teleport will be up back in time. The aeroplanist could be dead in time. Yeah, Merc, Merc is here to just feed tinnitus. Um, oh, she's gonna try and spy him out here. Spot him out. Spot him out. Maybe, maybe. Where is the Merc? Hasn't found him yet. Hasn't found him. Okay. I wonder. I wonder if we just see teleport to the cipher. I feel like we don't. Because the thing is, if 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 she teleports to Mage, Mage is at full health, has a wand, can kite probably cut it out so that uh, mercenary and aeroplanist rush the uh, ru rush the other cipher that's back in that corner. Um. Yeah. So what what Merc has to do here is he has to uh, use an elbow pad probably to rescue Charles. Oh boy. It's actually just in time. He has to not get Terror Shocked. No Terror Shock. It's Mercenary. Yep. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. And it's going to be enough. Oh, wait. What the? What was that? That was like some lag there. What the heck just happened? 
What the heck just happened? Okay, Charles needs to kite this out. He actually needs to kite this out. He needs to kite this out because Mage needs to get on the door. Okay, and... Oh, he uses it, but he can't, dude. He uses Jetpack, but still dies. That's so unfortunate. Because now she now she just teleports to gate. She can she can uh she can have mercenary die. Teleports to the wrong gate though! That's the wrong gate! Hold! Wait! The wrong gate. Oh, she's gonna opt to yeah, opt to just yeah. Nah, that was so unfortunate. That's a one escape all because of teleporting to the wrong gate. I mean, to be fair, you'd think he would be on that gate, right? Because that's the closer one. But may maybe he was just playing it safe. Yeah, playing it safe. Okay, it's only a 3k for GH. By the skin of the teeth, only because of the incorrect teleport. Wow. On to the next match. We are going to see Magician, Dancer, Priestess, and Garner going up against the Opera Singer. Banning Antiquarian, First Officer, um, Mercenary, and Aeroplanist. Okay, so their rescuer is... They don't have one. They don't have a rescuer. They're probably going to have Tide on either Garner or uh, Priestess. Priestess is interesting here because we know Priestess can be really, really good at providing support, um, especially to God Kite and Shaq with those portals in the church. Um, yeah, ha having portals set up in church is really, really good. We don't really see Priestess come out too often um, in round one because she doesn't necessarily kite out Opera Singer super well. But again, her support is... Um, you can never underestimate Priestess support. Here we go. We're going to see yep, Koa Priestess already setting up some... Uh, going to start setting up some support portals in the church. Yep. We do see some boxes are dropped down over here. Is this a slow box? This is a slow box. Yep, this is a slow box. Um, and it looks like Opera is just going to immediately break these boxes. Yep, just break that box. That's a really good box, actually. Because it affects it affects the shack loop. That's super good. Yep, okay. There's a Priestess portal. And do we see a second Priestess portal right over here? We do not. Oh, breaking that. Yep. That's that's a good pallet to set up the Priestess portal. Because the Priestess portal goes through the pallet and lets you set up the... Uh, Let's you set uh, people to go into God Kite. But it looks like uh, Opera Singer just spent some time cleaning up the uh, the resources from the survivors. And is actually going to be chasing the Gardener here, who actually still has a bubble. Still has the bubble. And there it goes. Yep, it is now. It, it just reached 51 seconds. The, bar, the bubble only um, lasts for 50 seconds at the start of the match. Uh, Gardener actually does have tied knee jerk. Priestess has borrowed time knee jerk. Uh, so does Dancer. And so does much. Wait, what the heck? Uh, missed hitting the portal there. That's kind of goofy. Uh, only... Oh, no, Magician Magician has Tide. Okay, I'm stupid. Magician has, a uh, has Tide and Ninja, but actually just used the Blink to get the Gardener down. This was actually not a bad lead for the Survivors until that Blink. Um, because now look at the Cyphers. They're a little slow. They set up all this support, and for what? They spent, a, they spent so much time setting up all their support, and for what, dude? For nothing. Okay, there's the portal. Breaks the portal. Teleports back. Uh, and Priestess is actually going to opt to just use the portal to get to the uh, the Cypher back where Gardner was a little bit faster. And she is going to be chasing the Priestess. No, not quite. Gardner is probably going to be rescued after half. They only do have one set of Tide um, left if she dies. So this could be really bad here. They probably want a Dancer to take the kite. Yeah, probably want a Dancer to take the kite. Are this going to sell? No, Ma Mage is coming in. Yeah, you, you definitely at least want to sell her with Tide if you can. Um, but potentially going to be getting stuffed out here. Two ciphers are done, but they're pretty slow. They are pretty slow. I think they're just going to sell. I think they're just going to sell. Long portal is set up. Um, I don't know if she can get to the long portal with Tide, if they even Tide. No, they're not even going to Tide rescue. No, they're selling. They're selling. They're selling. They are going to sell. Okay. Well, if you're going to chase Priestess, she can just go through the long portal. Uh, let's see. Chilling, chilling, chilling. Goes in long portal. Yep, there it is. Break that long portal and teleport back. Yep. Okay, well, that, that at least uh, buys the stars a little bit more time. Now they have to rotate a little bit. You definitely don't want to... Okay, now she's kind of producing rotation. Now. Oh, she picks up on the tracks from the Dancer, actually. Uh, dancer does have her boxes placed up over here. This is only one box. Where'd the third one go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was about to say, where's the third one? Uh, no. Oh, spots out the Priestess Trail. Hold on. Spots out the Priestess Trail. Here she is. Only has one portal to work with. Oh my gosh. That was a really good teleport, actually. That was a really good teleport back. Uh, we do see the last portal is going to be used right here. Opera's just going to go through it. And now she's going to go kite onto these slow boxes here. Opera's going to have to spend some time cleaning them. Oh, wait. There's only still one here. Okay. Only one. Only one. But, you know, it's 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 something. It's something. Does she break the box? Uh... Oh, teleports back. It's still a slow box, though. Oh, the portal. That's so good. The portal was actually so good. And now she breaks the box. Now she breaks the box. Oh, boy. That was really good. Yo, the, the, the Priestess Dancer combo was actually really solid. 
Uh, are we gonna switch targets again? I feel like you. Mm. See the thing. The thing about switching targets, it's interesting. She's gonna drop the last slow box right here. Put the pallet over it. Yep. Puts it over, and now we're just gonna go. Dude, we're switching targets so much. But Mage has three resources. He, he has all the decoys in the world. Still gets hit though. Oh my gosh. I think it was probably better to vault there. If she was coming in, you could have just vaulted, used your pallet thing. All right, you're 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 knee there, and just blinked. Dang, that's such a fast down. That was like a 10 second down, obviously due to blink, but still, my goodness, that was not good. That was not good in the slightest. Dancer's right here. She is right here. Huh? Hello? Why are you dropping? Uh? Okay? But why? But why do that? I don't know. Are we gonna see here clean up the box? Nope, not quite. There's still uh, like a whole cypher behind. What are they gonna do here? Uh, Dancer is coming in. She gets the free rescue. Okay, but like why did why did okay i don't know why she dropped and just, didn't just chair she was like right at the chair you could have just chaired immediately like who cares if they instant rescue what's what's the point oh my gosh just disrespects the palette jeez offer just snooms through pallets gotta start teaching her a little more respect there okay slow box is gonna buy some time dang dude not enough okay there there's the last box okay all boxes have been broken and they are just gonna opt to heal up the magician dancer is lost uh, she's trying to just get more map pressure. She's gonna just try and find out where they are hiding. Or I guess healing. Oh, there's a portal. Go through portal, go through portal. Yup. And spots out the trail. Okay, but Magician does still have two wands. Is it full health once again? Here we go, round two. Can he do it? Can he do it this time? Blink is almost back up. Oh no, I'm sorry, she has teleport now. She has teleport now. My bad, my bad. And wand, there we go. There we go. Start teaching her to respect those paths a little bit. She keeps swinging through those things. My goodness. Okay. Just look at that. Nah, just just keep just keep pallet stemming her. Just teach her some respect. Who cares? She is just apting to swing through these things. Okay, the two stars are being worked on. I'm pretty sure this is it. I'm pretty sure that unless she teleports onto a cypher, this should just be it. She's really just hard on the mercenary right now. Yep. Gets a hit, but it should be enough. That's enough distance to get the pop. Uh, if she teleports. Uh, they just pop. Yep, they just pop. They just pop. Priestess, Priestess does have done, and she has one portal to work with. That could buy a little bit of time here. Let's see. Portal's right there. Goes back. Okay, she's got a portal and a pallet to kind of camp through. Oh. Okay, okay. Goes to the portal. Oh my gosh, just barely. Just barely teleports to the dancer. Okay, this should just be a draw, though. This should just be a draw. Um... Okay. Oh, Terra Shot. Stop dropping. Stop dropping the pallets in front of her. Oh my gosh. That's, that's so greedy. I know you want your speed boost from Knee Jerk, but I feel like the trade off is not worth it. It is not worth it. Oh boy. Uh, she does actually long portal the Magician, I think. I'm pretty sure she long portal. Yep, yeah, that's long portal Magician. And she's going to opt to. Oh my gosh, Priestess is broken. She's going to opt to use that last portal to open up the gate. And hopefully, Dancer can use herself. He'll just get out. Mage goes down. She can TP back a little bit. Um, no, gonna opt to chair the magician first. Yeah, probably doesn't want to. Probably doesn't want to waste a self heal. Oh my gosh, that 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 long portal actually is huge. That long portal is huge because now dancer and priestess make it out. That is a draw, bro. You gotta start banning priestess, bro. Oh my gosh, priestess is so busted. Priestess is so busted, bro. On to round two, first half. Luckily, they are banning opera, so we don't have to watch opera anymore. They're gonna ban uh, priestess, dancer, Norton, and mercenary on the uh, hunter side and then we have lawyer cheerleader anti and officer okay pretty uh, pretty safe team i like seeing uh antiquarian she's really really fun cheerleader has some fun support lawyers are broken decoder this is a solid meta team and they are going to be going up against disciple hmm i guess gh does have the lead they did get a 3k last match so yeah and is seen as a draw hunter that has some slight win potential if she does really well this should be good. This should be good. They can at least secure a draw here and uh, keep up their lead. The spawns are, I guess, pretty set. Usually you have lawyer spawn in hospital because hospital is so broken, but they are going to have the rescuer in middle. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but the thing is, officer is countered by Ann, so I don't really know how I feel about this. They could potentially lose their rescuer here really early, but he is in hospital, so there is that as well. And two-story does kind of counter Ann Cat, so 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know who the chase target is gonna be here. I feel like it might be easiest just to chase the cheerleader here. Um, we do see, oh, we see the Mulan Antiquarian skin, and yep, gonna be on the cheerleader as expected. Uh, drops pallet immediately, okay. Waste it, wasting this pallet right from the very start, but that's fine. Um, I know it's good to like save resources and whatnot uh, for later, but the thing is, um, especially for somebody like Disciple, if you can keep her at low presence for longer, she literally can't do anything. Like, she is actually, like, really bad at low presence. Really, really bad. Like, you obviously are going to cats here, um, but you can use a couple of beep beeps, and she seals the abilities, so she is going to slow down out in the open. Uh, and can she get to this pallet? I think she should be able to. Yeah, going to get to this pallet. Can drop it in time, yep. And this is what I'm talking about, bro. Disciple at low presence is really not that bad. Really isn't that bad. She is stunned, but... Oh, wait, the jump around and the beep beep to dodge. Oh, my gosh, cheerleader. Good work. And there's a, there's a, um, there's a pallet over here. Blinks and misses the blink. Oh, that is huge. She was desperate for, for some presence there. And wait, she actually only has blink. She only has blink. That's so unfortunate. Oh, that is so, okay. She is probably gonna get the first hit here. Oh, uh, oh, uh, let's see. There it is. There's first hit. There's first hit. Okay. But dude, Ruins is here. And she has, she has confined space detention. So it's only gonna be blink for the whole game. This is a good kite so far, and she has another beep beep to work with. A whole other beep beep, dude. Cats are up, but she has she has plenty of resources here. She can drop pallets, all that stuff, dude. All that stuff. We're gonna see. Oh, Antiquarian. No, okay. I thought we see Antiquarian house. That's, that's that's lawyer over there. That's lawyer. B jump, B jump. But now we drop pallet. Yep, we drop pallet. Confined space should still be up over here. Um, gonna vault use her window boost. Uh, window boost is not. Up just yet? Hold on, now, now we have a window over here. Okay. There it is. There's the window boost. Yep, there it is. Oh, boy. And the, and the thing is, the pallet is still here. Oh, my gosh, dude. Disciple at low prez. Disciple at low prez. Gonna opt to switch targets to the lawyer. Um, Actually, might get a hit here. Nope. Lawyer has that fast vaulting and can now push hospital. Oh, my gosh. This is actually not looking good for the disciple. That miss blink matters so much because the thing is... And needs the cross. She needs the cross to do anything. And now he's in two-story. Can he make it? Can he make it? And he has only taken a single hit. Oh, actually, no, he hasn't taken a single hit yet. Okay, pallet. There's the hit. And now he runs away. Yep, gonna go down over here. Bro, this is this is off. This is looking horrible for the end. She finally has cross. But that blink is not so needed. The blink is extremely needed, dude. And absolutely needs blink to do anything. This pallet is gone. So she might be to get the hit here. Cross is up. Doesn't have the second jump yet. Seals his abilities. Not that it really matters. And boop. Down he goes. Finally the first down. But I feel like at this point, all you do is just push the ciphers and rescue after half. Like, you just rescue after half. Um, maybe not even because there is tie turner as well. So you could just pop after the tie turner is used. Uh, and she can't. It's not like she can teleport to any ciphers because she only brought blink. That was not good for the end, dude. That was not good at all. That missed blink was huge. It was huge because if she had cross, dude, that shit would have died so long ago. So long ago, dude. And there is Antiquarian as well. Lawyer's finishing up. Oh, sorry. Cheerleader's finishing up the cipher. Um, Lawyer's on the chair. I'm dumb, bro. Uh, and yeah, gets the rest before half, but there's plenty, plenty of Antiquarian potential harassment. Doesn't get catted. First officer is here too. Yep. It's just they're putting one person on the cipher and two supporters, bro. Two supporters. Yeah, now there's Antiquarian Harassment. Yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. And First Officer gets the body block. She is now at full presence, but I think it's too little too late. The Cypher is primed. It's primed. It is actually primed. Throws out cats. And wait. Okay, waiting, waiting it out, waiting it out. He's going to pop, get back in the stun, but it's not enough. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Greedy, greedy Antiquarian. Greedy. So greedy. So greedy. No, that was so... There was no reason to do that. The first officer was fine. He was fine. Oh, boy. I mean, the, yeah, the gate's already... The gate's already... Yeah, it's, it's, it's still a three-person... It was going to be a three-person escape regardless, but that was a little greedy. <laughs> Can't even lie. That was a little greedy. And, yeah, at this point, you just escape. Don't, don't push your luck. You already have a... Yeah... I mean, actually, no, don't push your luck at all because that's a three-person escape. Now, now the set could be tied if they, uh, if UTP Hunter gets a draw. It is now round two, second half. We've got psychologist, prospector, first officer, and novelist. 
Uh, they are banning Opera Singer on the Survivor side, and then, uh, oh, it's gonna be Hermit. They're banning Priestess, Aeroplanus, Mike, Gaming, and Patient. That does, uh, that does make sense, but yeah, it's gonna be the Hermit. Uh, Psych can help re re relieve some of the pressure, but I don't really know how I feel about this, um, because Orpheus has to be kind of close to use his, uh, his swap, same with Norton. I don't know really how I feel about this. This could be pretty rough for the survivors here. But we can't forget that it is Hospital, and Hospital is dummy survivor-sided, so it really could be anybody's game here. It really could be anybody's game. Probably gonna chase the psychologist first. Let's see. All right, let's see what we got. We got um, we got a catchy Crow Persona 5 skin. You love to see it. Um, we got the uh, Koa, Koa Ada here, and I think I don't, I don't really know what the other two uh, other two skins were. Um, yeah, it's, it looks like it's many Insulin's Detention uh, Alva, pretty standard stuff. Uh, Psych does have does, ha does have Borrow Time and Knee Jerk. And Novelist has Borrow Time Flywheel, same as Protector. And of course, uh, Officer has Borrow Time Tide Turner. And yeah, Lo Looping Shack is pretty good against Alva early. And oh, he's gonna be able to get a window hit here. Yep, gets, gets a window hit here. And he actually did not connect the Cyphers at all, so. Yeah, the Cyphers are climbing a little uh, faster than normal Alva Cyphers, but it's just so he can secure the first down a little bit faster. But again, it is a Psychologist, and she will be able to tank three hits. We might see a little bit of harassment from the uh, Processor. No? Oh, we're swapping targets. Oh, we're swapping targets to Novelist. Oh, hold on. It's Orf gaming time. Hold on. Oh. Oh, man. That's unfortunate. Just goes for the... Oh, misses the... Uh, did he miss and then walk into it? Oh, he did it. He did it for presents. Oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Hits the prospector? Um, okay. But you just, he's almost a full pres now. He's almost a full pres. And he transitions back into him. And they throw a magnet down where they, oh my gosh. He was so confident that he would chase the prospector. But he's back onto the novelist who runs back into him. And he's just dead. That's really bad. That is really bad. Oh my gosh. He's at full presence now. He is at full presence now. Oh boy. Bro, Alpha full presence is when things get so risky. Oh, oh my gosh, not this chair, bro. I hate this chair so much, dude. This chair is so broken because like you basically are dead. This is such a horrible area, bro. It's such a horrible area. We do see first officer coming out in here. Use the watch. Yep, use the watch. But there's the charge. And... Okay. Swinging, swinging, swinging. Swinging. There it is. There it is. Spirit bomb. Runs into the spirit bomb, actually. Swings. Gets the rescue. Um, now your point... Now now the novelist's goal is just to literally die in a corner. Um, Norton harassment. And... Pushes him back. Pushes him back. But there's stuns. There are stuns. Swaps with him. Okay, they're actually not opting to just die in a... Oh, wait, but it doesn't matter. Norton harassment, what the heck? And, and, still has magnet, still has magnet. Let's see. Big pull, big pull. Nope. Yo, use the magnet, buddy. And now he's just away from it. Now it doesn't even matter. Bro, if you're gonna throw a mag... Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just realized what happened. I, I was like, okay, so perhaps we're not nearby. I just realized what happened. That was so goofy. Novelist picked up the magnet that was on the stairs earlier and then <laughs> and then used it against Alva. Oh, that is so funny. That's actually so goofy. What the heck? I was like, what happened there? No, or, Prostitute was clearly not there. How did Novelist do that? Is he hacking? No, he picked up the failed magnet from earlier. Oh, that's so funny, dude. That's actually so funny. It didn't really buy any time, but that is so goofy. Uh, Prospector doesn't die here. Yep, thanks to spread damage, he doesn't die. But Blink is back up. We have Spirit Bomb. Can get the... Yep. Oh, boy. And Blink downs for the down. Yep, Blink's the down. But there is one more Magnet. Hold on. One more Magnet. And is it enough? Can he get the stun? Can he get the stun? He drops. He drops. He drops. Yeah. It's so sick. He knows he has no Magnets. Yep. Yep. Oh, Novelist, bro. Poor Novelist. I feel Novelist got so cheesed, bro. He got so cheesed. He blinked him twice, and then, like, yeah, Novelist got cheesed, bro. He had to rebound off of a garbage chair and then got blinked two different times. Novelist actually got cheesed, bro. Oh, boy. That's so unfortunate. 
Double blink. That that always feels bad when you lose to like blink two. Do when you get blinked twice in any match, it feels awful, dude. It feels awful. And I was like, man, I could have done so much better, and then they just blinked me. Why are we running into the garbage area? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the double stun, bro. The double stun is crazy. It's actually crazy. And the Cyphers are still so slow, dude. They are still so slow. I, fe I feel like Alva just uh, takes it here. He still has plenty of time to work with. Alva games are just so long. Gets a hit onto Officer. And that's his last. This is his last watch. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there it is. Once again, the freaking attachment. <laughs> Sorry, I. I, I that's actually the official name of this skill I learned recently. Um, I used to call it Eye of Song because that's what the English commentators have done. Uh, but then Zeus started calling it Spirit Bomb, which is apparently like a Dragon Ball reference. And I think Spirit Bomb does sound pretty funny, so I just call it Spirit Bomb now. Um, but yeah, Officer is going to be uh, on the chair here. Now, the one good thing about this is that Officer's chair time is a very, very long. So they can actually ch pick and choose when to rescue him. But again, the Cyphers are just slow. They're just slow. And they're like a whole Cypher behind, basically. They can finish that one at 88. But uh, Alva could potentially get a little bit aggressive here. He could get a little bit aggressive. Um, they are going to opt to start working on one that's at 18. And what? I don't know what the Cypher is. Oh, I think the Cypher that's at 88 is over here, actually. That's probably why they can't finish it. I, oh, yeah, it's, it's that one right there. Yeah, it's not even in the loop. Yep, it's not even. He's not letting them work on the 88% Cypher. Oh, boy. Dude, the Cyphers are so slow. They're so slow. Nah, this is 4K. It's 4K, bro. Alva's so broken, bro. I mean, I know like, I, you know, he kind of gets memed on if the first kite is long. But if you get a somewhat fast down, get your get to full presence like within the within the first few minutes, like there's no. I feel like like this is one of the hardest characters to come back from. It is one of the hardest characters to come back from. Just gets the hit, knows he probably can't stall long enough for a Terra Shock. But it's it's basically just it, bro. I think he he does get the magnet, but uh, he just blink he just blinked on it. That's the third blink, bro. This is why Alva can just carry blink. He really doesn't need teleport. Uh, oh, gets the stun. It's not gonna matter though. It's not. It's literally not gonna matter. Like they're buying time here, yes. But look, the ciphers are still slow. Stuns again. Misses the stun. Doesn't even get the stun. And now officer is dead. It's Prospector and Psychologist. That's all they got left. It's so over, though. It is so over. You hit him with a red? Yep, hit him with a red to get some extra damage on Psych. And then... Oh, wait. Dang, that was a really dinky repel. My goodness. That was a dinky repel. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, that I... I like, the, the thing is, Novelist has... Or, Novelist... The Prospector has to... Oh, my gosh. Wait. Hold. Prospector, Prospector, hold on. He still has so many stuns, but Psych has to make it all the way to that Cypher and finish it, and he dies now. He does just die. Oh, boy. Oh, the thing is, he needed he needed to kite out what? He needed to kite out 30 more seconds probably because Psych isn't even on the Cypher yet. And I'm pretty sure with Psych's health at the moment, she does actually just die to a basic Alva attack. Oh, boy. Dude, comeback comebacks against this character are so hard. I feel I feel like I feel like against any character to make a comeback against, I feel like it's hardest to make a comeback against Alva. He is actually just gonna opt the chair, yeah. Thing is, this is the uh, Prostitute's first chair. He has plenty of time to find the uh, the psychologist. Plenty of time. He probably has a good idea of where a dungeon is too. And here's the thing: getting dungeon against Alva is like next to impossible. It's actually like unless you have flywheel, it's next to impossible. And even with flywheel, like it's next to impossible because he has he just has ten thousand stuns. Like actually, has ten, oh, what 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 Psych should do here is tap ciphers, hop in the locker, and pray that Alva misses a stun and gets dungeon. Because if you get into a locker, you actually remove the charge from yourself. So that's that's what she should probably opt to do. But uh, Alva does have tinnitus, and uh, yeah, <laughs> he's already he's dropping stickers, bro. He knows this game is over. He knows it. Wait, she's going for the rescue. Wait, she's not going for dungeon, but spirit bomb. <gasps> Wait, messes up the spirit bomb. Hold on. Messes up the spirit bomb. Trying to hit her with red. Oh, wait. It's blue. Wait, he swaps to blue. They both have blue. They can share damage. But he's not on the right side. The thing is, they're not near the cypher. And the blink and the cancel of attack recovery. The fourth blink of the game, bro. The fourth blink. This is why Alva's so broken, bro. Okay. 
And Spirit Bomb, and that's gonna be it no matter what, bro. That's it for sure this time. Oh boy. They were seconds too late that time. Seconds too late. My goodness. So unfortunate, bro. That blink, bro. That blink. And, oh, wait. They actually guarantee get one to man escape from this. Yeah, there's no way Alva can catch up. Okay, I mean, that's something. That is something. It was probably going to be one escape anyway. And, dang, just fires off that stun into the distance. Okay, that was actually really smart because uh, you, you, you pop once you realize um, they're getting chaired. So then you can just get the speed boost from borrowed time. Get to the dungeon. All right, that gets the one escape, but that's a 3K from UTP, meaning that the set is currently tied up at the moment. Here we go on to round three. First half, you're going to see Aeroplanis, Cheerleader, Officer, and Novelist going up against a Geisha on Chinatown. Geisha is very strong on Chinatown. Pretty excited to see the uh, Cheerleader, Aeroplanis uh, combo. I really love that combo because uh, if Cheerleader refreshes Charles Jetpacks and he uses Hover, he can get an extreme amount of distance. Not that it necessarily matters against Geisha because she can close in the distance like instantly, but it it's still pretty pretty fun to see regardless and uh we're gonna see some pretty standard spawns uh geisha's probably spawning over here to lock off hotel cypher uh and might just chase the aeroplanes because i feel like the distance gaining he gets isn't gonna be that important i guess that like, you have to you have to use your butterfly to catch up to him after he's used all three parts of the dash because you can't like do it mid mid jetpack or else you're gonna uh you know get a little bit memed on and here we go we're gonna see yep, a catchy crow first officer should we just say hara novelist Default Charles, and I think we saw um, uh, the Fluorite Cheerleader. All right, so yeah, it's going to be Charles taking the kite, who does have borrowed time and tide. Uh, yeah, there we go. Beautiful work. Like I said, dude, whoever whoever commits first against Geisha is the one who loses, and Geisha committed there first. And yep, Cheerleader did actually reset. Oh, oh dear. She reset the aeroplane. This is cooldown, but now, now Cheerleader can't use, she can't reset cooldown from beep beep. Catches up, and she's going to take a hit here. Yep, no flower, anything. That was that was maybe not so good. Maybe she should have saved that for herself. Um, actually, you know what? I you know what? I take it back. I take it back. Cheater can go down here. Uh, does she just take the hit here? No, she doesn't. Cheater can go down here. It's probably fine. Cause here's the thing. Here's the thing. Cheerleader doesn't have tie. Oh, just blinks. Really? Really? Oh, she's dead. She's dead. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. Okay, not not the greatest kite of all time. But here's the thing. You want Cheerleader to die instead of Aeroplanets because you you have the tide. At, at least Aeropinus has tied. At, at least he has tied. So now, now they're not using, they're not losing one of their tied turner, uh, their rescuer characters. Because if they were gonna make Aeropinus, you know, force out all the uh, the jetpacks and then he'd uh, have no tide, uh, that, that's just gonna be a waste of your uh, your precious tide there. So looks like we are gonna see first officer come on in here. Yep, take take your uh, your safe rescue in here first. There's the watch. Buy as much time as possible. Um, and of course, Aeropinus does have wanted order, so you don't want to send him in first. And it looks like Officer will maybe get the Hypnosis here. Oh, dang, just gets hit. Just straight up gets hit. Okay. And uh, we're going to see Chitter give him a few cheers before she tries to uh, beep beep away. Yep, there's the beep beep. Oh, hold on. Some support, some support. Here we go. And Palette's done. Beautiful work. Beautiful work from the novelist. Staying nearby to charge up a little bit more metaphor. Beautiful support, bro. Be oh, what? Wait. That was crazy. Yo, novelist. That was kind of crazy, bro. That was actually kind of crazy. And now she can push hotel. She can push hotel now. Does ha almost have a beep beep to work with. And vaults that. We're just going to see her yep, use butterfly to go through. Yep. And we see maybe one more beep beep here. Beep beep. There it is. Beep beep. Yeah, beep beep. <laughs> oh, beep beep is so goofy. Uh, we're going to see a hit here. Yeah, oh, unfortunate, bro. If she had, if the if the beep beep was just ever so slightly closer to being charged up, she would have been able to uh, use the beep beep, maybe extend the kite. And now it is basement. That's a bit unfortunate for the survivors here. But uh, you know, th this is this might be what the Geisha needs to turn the match around because honestly, it is looking like a a draw at best here. But with basement, maybe she could uh, get a drop down hit or something. Charles is gonna come on in here. Does he use a jetpack at all? Not even gonna, yeah, not even gonna use the hover, just use jetpack, 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 and is he gonna avoid drop down? He does avoid drop down. Gets charge attack, but it's it's tied, it's tied, bro. We're gonna see tied. Yup. Oh, maybe now we're gonna try and see them chill down in basement and try to body block. I think if Charles can body block, that's that's the first thing. Yeah, body blocking, body blocking, beautiful. If Charles gets to if also Charles, if Charles gets to 28, he can revive himself. This is why Chiller is so strong. She supports her supporters. Supporting her supporters. 
Oh, but it's not enough. It's not enough. She blink drop down hit. Misses though. Misses the blink. Then there's no more trait. There's no more trait. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. Aeroplanus can body block now. Aeroplanus can body block. He has to get the body block. Body block, body block. Oh my gosh. He can heal stall. 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 Oh, but they pop now. They pop once they go up. Yup. Yup. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. Chillet is so broken. Chillet is so broken. What the heck? Cheerleader is so broken, and it looks like we are going to resume with the set. It was only it would only be a, a win if it's uh, if UTP gets zero skate, but that's that's uh, that's not happening here. Oh my gosh, cheerleader! And Novelist is back. No way, are they pushing? Are they pushing for a four escape? <gasps> oh my gosh, are they actually pushing for this? There's no shot they get this. There's no shot. The whole team, the whole team. Wait, first officer can tie body block. No way they're actually pushing for this. GH is insane. <gasps> the hover! Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, but Cheerleader dies. She can crawl out though, surely. Surely, surely, surely. Oh! Novice dies though, Novice dies. It's a, yeah, that's a three. That's a, that's a, that's a 1k. Oh my gosh, so close, bro. They were so close. I can't believe that. I can't believe they were that close. Oh, that was insane. That's the support I love to see, dude. That was so exciting. If only First Officer could have tied Body Block there, that would have been insane. That actually would have been insane, dude. All right, here we go. Round three, second half, potentially the final match of the set. We have Melly and Novelist, which I love to see. Huge fan of watching these characters. We got Officer and Dancer as well. We got Priestess, Anti, Merc, and uh, Aeroplanist Band. And it's going to be a Dream Witch, okay. They could have gone clown. They could have gone wax. Oh no, I can't go wax. Is wax is banned. Thank goodness. Uh, they could have gone wheel, but it is gonna be the dream witch. Um, this is an interesting comp for a dream witch. I wonder how this is gonna go. We're gonna see some similar spawns to last time. Rescuer is actually not spawning center. Looks like they wanna have a uh, have all their kiters lined up. Interesting. They probably know that the cipher will be locked off. So if you wanna have anybody locked off a cipher, it probably is the rescuer. Um, but Melly will probably take the kite here. She isn't connected. It's either going to be Melly or the Novelist. Let's see how this goes. Uh, we've got Novelist who is... Okay, Novelist is just chilling there. Shuichi, Saihara, Novelist. It's got Kony, Melly, and... Bruh? Oh, instant pause? What the heck? All right, uh, oh, here we go, here we go. Now we're resuming, now we're resuming. Uh, okay, um, um, yeah, T T Tomie is here. Uh, oh, swaps? And we're gonna see him go toward the uh, the slow boxes that are already set up, and it looks like Patroller. Yeah, Patroller is gonna be the tray for the Dream Witch. Yeah, stand, stand, in, stand in Dream Witch build, Trump card, detention, Patroller. Now, what you want to do as the novelist here is try to force the leech. Oh dang! Oh my! Oh, that was risky. That was risky, dude. That was so risky. He could have just died right there. Super risky. Dan's gonna have to try and get away here. Uh, and is she gonna? opt to swap to the she is gonna opt to swap for the dancer here's the first patroller from main body and yeah here comes the follower on the way but the leech is now just gonna chill after the uh the novelist now hmm gonna drop this pallet dancer gets uh, a speed actually no she doesn't because she has a she has flywheel instead although she flywheeled one of the bites okay gotcha so that there's the first hit but now we can see a patroller drop from the follower here let's see uh, I wonder, she, I think she doesn't have, the leech is still out there, but it's not really doing much. It's just kind of sitting there. <laughs> just kind of sitting there. Okay. We're catching up to Dancer. Uh, and the Cyphers are coming far along. And do we, oh, there's a leech. Hold on, two leeches onto the field. Yeah, the thing is, Nautilus hasn't got the uh, the witch mark just yet. Uh, kind of pincered, 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 and does, does die. But forces the leech hit. It is a leech hit, so that's at least fine. And she just sets up the leech once again. But you know, at least it's not like a second uh, or a, th a third <laughs> third faller being on the uh, the field or a, th a third leech rather breaking this pallet. This is a really good pallet to break, very very good pallet for the dream one. She is kind of cooking right now, but the ciphers it was almost a three cipher kite with transitioning, but she does have some map presence starting up here. Probably should maybe just use the leech to start breaking some pallets or uh, breaking those slow boxes or something because you, you really don't want those slow boxes set up. So you might as well have that leech do something besides just stand there. Um, and here comes Officer here for the rescue. They're starting up the Fist Cypher. Never mind. And what the heck? What the heck? Misses the blink, and then we have B support. And we're chasing. Okay, that is Dancer. I got freaking juked by the Officer thingy again. Yeah, is gonna is gonna opt to chase the Dancer. Um, 
since you don't have an extra use of Tide, it's probably best to save the Flywheel for a rebound. Um, and doesn't even get the... Dang! Doesn't even get the chance. Dies right at the very last second of that Tide Turner. Uh, looks like they actually did want Novice to take the Kite here because... Uh, yeah, he, he does have full Kite Bell now. I'm looking at it. Okay. Now Melly might take a hit here from a Blink. Uh, or just straight up. Okay. I don't know why she was here. I'm not really sure why she was here. It kind of takes a hit. It's not really good. And there's a Leech. She actually might just be able to Blink down Melly with the Leech eventually. Um... Novelis is here, the last person that is healthy. This is actually looking pretty good for the Dream Witch. And let's see, let's see. Don't get Terra Shocked. Trying to maybe bait a chair hit. Doing his absolute best to bait a chair hit. Flywheels still hits the Dancer though. Still hits the Well, hold on, she's in the pallet, she's in the pallet. Oh, oh, he can't, yeah, he can't swap with her. He can't swap, yep. Yep, that's that's gonna be an elimination on the Dancer. Yep, okay, now, now this got a lot harder. Uh, she does have Blink to down the Nautilus. Oh, he flies. Beautiful flywheel. Beautiful flywheel with the Nautilus. Just the predictions, dude. Orf is cooking. Shuichi is cooking, dude. My goodness. Uh, um, Ento still has her leech. Uh, and just gonna, yeah, you're gonna use Bees to push the two-story area. Or, no, just gonna go into restaurant instead. There are two followers on her right now. Do any of them have Blink? Um, I don't know if the leech has Blink. Leech is being slowed down. Uh, hits the bees, and I don't know if bees were pulled back or just killed. Leech is here, and dies to leech. Yep, dies to leech. Yep, di dies to the leech. Unfortunately, poor Melly, dude. Poor Melly. Poor, poor Melly. Uh, the Scythes are coming along, though. One is at 99. Okay. They can probably draw this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if they draw, actually... I'm pretty sure if, if Dream Much gets a draw, then, uh, they win. I actually think the only way for them to, uh, to continue on to overtime is if this is just a 1k, which, um, yeah, that's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard, especially at a moment like this. Novice would have to absolutely cook right here. You have to get the rescue. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a chance. It, 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 there is a chance. Oh, it's gonna be Officer, actually, wait. It's gonna be Officer. Uh, huh. All right, gets the hit. Rescues Ento, but, 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 she has Blink to just down the Ento, and, okay, oh, gets hypnotized again. Wait a minute. No way. Oh no, she found she found Melly. She found Melly. She found Melly. No, all Lily, all you do here is you just blink down Melly. You just blink down Melly. No, it's it's not it's not happening, bro. It's not happening. As much as I wish it could happen, Melly would need flywheel or something. It's not gonna happen. There's the blink down. Uh no harassers, bro. No harassers. That's it. That's it, bro. The blink secures it, dude. The blink secures it. If Melly had flywheel or something, there's maybe a chance. Or if she had if she was like near a, a window or a pallet to do a blink prediction, maybe there was a chance, but yeah, with the the blink secures it. The blink. Where are you going? Oh, into this chair, I guess. Yeah, the the blink does secure the down. That is a draw, meaning that G H is the winner. G H wins the set, I believe. Yep. Unless they're put. Wait, they're gonna push for it, but she's so far away. So far away. Three followers. Novelist only has flywheel, a uh, metaphor, and a dream, bro. Flywheel, metaphor, and a dream. But Melly has nothing. She has like 1% bees, bro. And Blink is still up. Blink is back up again. And just blinks down. That's that's super it. Yeah, that is super it. Okay, that 100% secures that they needed to go for the rescue. They had to push for it. Yeah, but with, with, with Dream Witch with Blink, bro, it's just, it's just too powerful. It's just too powerful. Yep. That's going to be it. That is going to be it. I, I mean, I guess they're, they're playing it out here. They're playing it out. They're playing it out, but it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I mean, it, it should have been a draw, but even even a draw doesn't let them the win. A draw does not let them win. They needed a three escape. Oh, unfortunate, dude. Unfortunate. But you know what? Congrats to GH. We are going to see them, I believe, uh, in the in the playoffs now, because since they did, uh, they did make it past the qualifiers, they will make it into the playoffs. So good work from GH. And... Uh, we are gonna see the one escape with from the officer or not? Why is officer? What is he doing? I skipped ahead a bit. He is actually coming in, but it doesn't matter. They do, it's not a draw that they need. They need a they needed a three escape. Misses the blink. Um, but again, it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. Okay, okay. Uh. Oh, she hit the chair. I think. That's a chair hit, but it doesn't matter. Again, it, it just doesn't matter. Uh, and 
just hits the officer now. Yep, just hits the officer down. Um, bro, <laughs> bro. Okay, they're they're just playing for memes now. I, I'll watch I'll watch the end of this, but you know they're just playing for memes now. Gh does still just take it and no, not quite. There's a flywheel. Metaphor, 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 metaphor. Nope, not enough, buddy. Not enough. Oh, he probably crawls out. He could probably he could probably crawl out. Let's see. He he makes that. He makes that. He makes that. Yep. It's a it's a one escape. It's a one escape. Well, that's a 3K for the Dream Witch, and GH is the winner. They are the only team that qualifies for Southeast Asia. I actually don't know. Um, I can't remember. It's either them or one other person. But yeah, GH does qualify. Congratulations to them. Very solid games. Very great games were played today. And yeah, everybody, that is going to be it. Congrats once again to Team GH for qualifying, making it to the playoffs. Can't wait to see how they'll do, um, being like one of the only ones so uh, representing Southeast Asia. Should, should be pretty fun to see uh, uh, the playoffs and everybody's involvement in there. But yeah, like I said, that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.